Uh, while these are loading, I'll just introduce myself. I'm Riley. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pear Deck, uh, and I'm here to give a little overview of where we've been and where we're going. And, um, so I'll start with uh, one of my co-founders is actually my wife, Michael, and we were teachers at a high school that had just gotten a one-to-one -one program. Uh, and so we were set out to teach with all of these devices that we're currently beset with, and um, we were really disappointed to find that it was harder to teach with them because the kids are all on different websites. And so, you know, our school had just spent a million dollars on these things, and we had all the uh, all the kids turn them off, um, which felt just kind of stupid, right? <laughs> um, so where Pear Deck is today is our first or second iteration of our solution to this problem. We wanted to make technology that made it easier for teachers to reach their kids individually, right? Um, so as a first step, all we did is made it so teachers could add questions to their slideshows. Uh, and then when they get to that slide in class, the kids can all answer that question. It helps the teacher remember what questions she wanted to ask. And really importantly, it, um, it sets the expectation in class that every student is going to participate in every question and that everyone in class is important. Uh, so again, this is sort of like MVP level idea, right? Um, <laughs> we stuck questions in PowerPoints, but it's proven that core value, uh, over a third of the schools in the country are using Pear Deck today uh, because at the center of this is the feeling of a classroom full of kids that are sitting up and engaged. Um, we have uh, teachers who are reaching kids in class for the first time that they've been trying to, con excuse me, trying to connect to all year, and we have kids that are sitting up and feeling proud and confident that they're actually a, an important part of a classroom discussion where uh, for maybe a lot of their uh, high school, uh, school careers, they've been left out. I was a math teacher and that was especially prevalent in kids who think they're bad at math and then get to my Algebra 2 class. Um, so that's the core of Pear Deck. There's another uh, really important piece to teaching well, which is not just that kids are engaged in sitting up, but also that they feel safe. Um, and one teacher wrote us last week saying that a student had used Pear Deck to tell her that he was feeling ashamed. Um, and that uh, she had asked, oh, I actually have a slide of this. <laughs> she had asked how kids are doing on the homework. And normally, if you're a teacher, you say, how's everyone doing? Uh, everyone got me. Uh, you all sit there quietly for five seconds, and I'll say, great, let's move on. Um, and when teachers aren't really connected to their students, they don't understand that students are having feelings like this. And I think they have them a lot. Um, so uh, and also when the students are feeling like this, they're not learning, right? Um, and so it's really important that a teacher is able to connect and is able to provide that safe and trusted place that kids can feel safe starting at zero and having a growth mindset to, um, to learn and achieve more. So our vision is a world where everybody gets all the way through school feeling like they were an important part of a community that expected them to sit up and contribute back, but also knew that we're all here learning together. And I think about this in terms of like, why am I spending my life in ed tech? Um, I think about this in terms of, you know, imagine if every kid outside in San Diego, currently sitting in some school classroom, uh, felt like they were really an important and engaged member of their community. Uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're really after. Um, so, so far, this is our first iteration. And again, we're just so far this in class. You've got your lesson plan. You can ask questions to your kids. And importantly, you can actually hear from everyone and stop systematically excluding huge swaths of people. Um, but I don't want you to think of Pear Deck as interactive PowerPoints, which is sort of the only category we've been into right now. I want you to think of uh, what computers could be and what devices in classrooms could be if they operated as a um, system of tools that teachers, that work in synchrony with teachers and students to activate this kind of um, trusting and safe community of learning. I think that's at the... Uh, the core of why we're succeeding so well so far. Honestly, we only work with Google Slides, and we don't come with any content. And everyone is very eager to tell me that content is king, and we will never succeed without it. But um, I think one of the reasons we're progressing so far is that when teachers feel what I'm talking about, they don't want to teach a different way anymore. And our net promoter score is 73, because when people feel what I'm talking about, they're like, oh, I cannot go back to having my computers be like distributed distraction devices. Uh, I must use this to 
actually enhanced my ability as a teacher to know what my students are thinking. So that's been really exciting to see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a few anecdotes about. Um, I will tell you. I will tell them to you. Uh, we have uh, one high school where the students actually started a petition to get their administrators to uh, to buy Pear Deck for all of their teachers. And when the school's funds weren't sufficient, the kids pitched in from their own uh, pockets. I actually many mixed feelings about capitalism and education and why our kids would be paying for the tools that help their teachers teach them instead of our taxes. We can talk about that after the presentation. Um, but uh, it goes to show when the kids experience this, they also feel differently about themselves and uh, their own education. And that's why I'm doing ed tech with my co-founders and, and great team. Um, another big thing here for us is that uh, you know, we hear a lot of efficacy stats about time on task and you know, student achievement, but for us, our main efficacy metric so far is what percent of the class is participating at any given time. And an average, including new teachers who've never used Pear Deck before, the average Pear Deck classroom uh, session lesson gets 95% um, participation um, amongst all of the questions in the lesson. And this, these stats get confusing, but 70% of the questions have 100% participation from every single student in the class. Uh, and when we polled students, 90% of the students, specifically stripping down just to the students who say they don't like to participate in class, say they do like to participate when they get to use Pear Deck. So we're enabling this whole um, group of people that might go 12 years of their childhood without really connecting uh, to participate more. Oh, so sorry, I'm over time. We're also going great places in the future. Um, we see a sort of revolution in how we think about computers and devices and classes. It's coming up. I would love to talk about it more, but the clock is getting mad at me. Thanks very much.